Welcome to Decode Your DEXA. The information presented here is not intended to replace medical advice. What is a DEXA scan? A DEXA is the gold standard of body composition testing. We use medical grade equipment, the same equipment used in hospitals. Our DEXA has a 0.5% error gradient. We run daily quality assurance testing to ensure this accuracy. The key to consistent results is keeping variables the same. This means the time of day, meals, hydration, etc. So is it safe? Absolutely. The radiation of one DEXA scan equals 0.4 microsieverts. This is the equivalent to eating four bananas. That's due to the potassium, carbon, and radium. The average person receives 10 microsieverts each day just from radiation exposure as you go about your day in the United States from natural radiation in the environment. So now let's go through the report. So at the very top, that is what you filled out on your intake form. This has no bearing on your DEXA results. So let's start under the summary results. Looking over to the far right where it says bone mineral content, this is the weight of your hard hollow bone. So it's strictly the outer shell of the bone. So next to that, the lean tissue, that is everything that is not fat tissue or hollow bone. So this is obviously muscle, but it's also blood, fluid, organs, skin, bone marrow, undigested food, everything that's not fat tissue or bone is encompassed in lean tissue on a DEXA scan. Fat tissue is strictly fat. Total mass is your weight. So it's the sum of the fat tissue, lean tissue, and bone mineral content. And then we get your body fat percentage by dividing the fat tissue by the total mass. And just for reference, over here on the right sidebar, that's just a snapshot of the body spec report. So moving on to the body fat percentile chart, this is just a comparison to body spec clients. The statistics were based off of about 100,000 scans from the year 2019. So this doesn't really tell you what is or isn't healthy. It just gives you some goals to work towards. So the way it reads is the 0 to 20th percentile is the leanest category of body spec clients. 80th to the 99th have had the highest percentage of body fat within our clientele. And so as an example, we take this female age 23 with a 23.2% body fat. We plug that into our chart over here, and we can see that this female is in the 0 to the 20th percentile. So now moving on to the regional assessment, we divide the body into five different areas. So we start with the arms, legs, and trunk. The arms and legs, those are self-explanatory. The trunk is the biggest area. So the trunk is everything except the arms, legs, and head. Then what we do with your trunk is we take out two parts, the android and the gynoid. So the android is your midsection. So think A for abs, android. The gynoid is your hips, glutes, and upper thighs. So think G, glutes, gynoid. So the goal here is to have your AG ratio, android to gynoid, less than one, and your android fat percentage less than your total body fat percentage. Those are both indicators of the lowest health risks. So now moving on to the top left of page two, where it says RMR, this stands for resting metabolic rate. This is the number of calories your, your body is burning at rest, doing absolutely nothing. This is strictly an estimate. It will go up with the lean tissue gain. It will go down with the lean tissue loss. Now coming to the middle of the page, let's talk about visceral fat. This is an area of interest to many of our clients. We're looking at the mass number for reference. This is the pounds of VAT in your body. The volume is the space that VAT is taking up. 
They're the same thing, just a different form of measure. Health risks for women start at two pounds. Men start at 2.7 pounds. These risks greatly increase for women at 2.7 pounds and greatly increase for men at 4.5 pounds. So you can see that there's definitely a difference here in gender. So the picture illustrates that in pink on your report and in blue that illustrates subcutaneous fat. So visceral fat is up against the organs. It's only in the midsection. So that's the only place that it's located. So subcutaneous fat is everywhere else in the body. So that's that pinchable, pliable fat. So visceral fat does put you at risk for heart disease, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and other health complications. The average female has 0.85 pounds of visceral fat. The average male has between one and a half pound, one and one and a half pounds of visceral fat. So how do you lower total body fat percentage in visceral fat? would you ask? So diet, limiting processed carbs and alcohol, exercise, strength training, cardio activity, walking, getting enough sleep each night, managing stress, not smoking. These are all ways that you would lower total body fat and visceral fat. So the next place we move on to is the bone report. So this is a snapshot of your bone strength. It is non-diagnostic and it compares you to individuals of the same age, gender, and ethnicity. Here, the higher the number, the better. The last place we look on the report is muscle balance. So what we're doing here is we're comparing your limbs. We're comparing your right arm to your left and your right leg to your left. We look for a difference of two pounds or more between either side in that lean mass column Anything less than that is normal for a number of different reasons. So here in that green area, lean mass, we generally don't call out anything less than two pounds. And the last four pages of your report are your trend reports. So over time, graphically in pounds and in percentages, you can see the progress that you're making as you scan with us. So keep in mind that the average monthly scanners lose 19% of their starting body fat within six months to a year. Our average quarterly scanner loses 10% and our sporadic scanners lose 1.4% body fat over that same time period. Those are excellent statistics. So give us a call because we would love to see you again soon. A body spec membership is a commitment to continued health. Let us be part of your journey.